Good evening and welcome to the Toronto Zoo's Native Bat Conservation Program video diary. If you haven't heard of our bat conservation program, it's one of the things that goes on more behind the scenes at the zoo. Uh, and so we're making this video to try and share what we do a little bit more. Uh, and it's a program working with uh, our native wildlife, so bat species in our backyard, uh, to learn a bit more about them and help uh, address some of the conservation threats that they face. In order to catch the bats, we head to the woods a few hours before sunset to set up our traps. These consist of a pair of metal poles 9 meters high, with a system of ropes and pulleys to suspend nets between them. The nets themselves are extremely fine, to make it hard for the bats to spot them as they fly along this trail in the forest. With the traps in place, it's then just a case of waiting for darkness. As the evening draws on, we check the nets regularly, and after a little while we have our first success. This bat might not look too comfortable hanging in the net, but when done by professionals, misnetting is a very safe and effective way of catching them. With an experienced hand, the bat is quickly untangled and can be placed in a bag to take back for processing. Uh, so it's a little bit later in the evening and we've had some success in our nets. So we caught some bats, we brought them back, uh, we're going to process them and record what species we have and the information about them so that we start to learn about what our bats are doing. So here we have a nice uh, big brown bat. So this is one of the most common bats that we find in southern Ontario. And they're the most common bat we record here at the zoo. We can tell this is a big brown bat, primarily because of its overall size, confirmed by measuring its forearm, as well as its chunkiness with quite a wide muzzle. Although it is the second largest bat in Ontario, as you can see, the animal is still quite small overall. After a quick examination, it's time to let the bat carry on with its night. So we let it go. As the night progresses, we catch a few more bats, including this female. Feels super pregnant. Alright, so it's turning into a pretty successful evening. So this is our fifth bat uh, of the night. All still big brown bats, which are the really common species around here. But um, it's good to see that there's so many of them and they're so healthy. Um, so actually before I take her out of the bag, I better weigh her. Uh, so we weigh all the bats, that gives us um, this kind of indication of health and also we're looking at this point to see if any of them are pregnant, particularly the females, uh, and just weight gives us a rough idea of that. This bat is really heavy, she is 35.1 grams including the bag. You can hear her buzzing, she's not particularly pleased to see me. But we'll have a quick look and then let her get on her way. With her, I can feel that in her abdomen, it feels very large. Uh, and that means she's almost certainly pregnant. Um, she's the largest female we've caught so far. Uh, so we will take a measurement of her forearm. Which is 44.1 millimeters. So we'll let her get on our way momentarily. Um, but if we look kind of down here, we can see how swollen her belly is. So she's got a lot of feeding to do in order to uh, gain weight before she gives birth in a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna not detain her any longer and we'll let her get on her way. After a successful night, it's time to pack up our gear and head home. The data from these bats will contribute to our understanding of their populations in Ontario and ultimately their conservation. It's been a great start to what promises to be a busy summer, so look out for more updates as we go on and check out the zoo's event calendar for our public events.